were at the Japan Aerospace uh, Exploration Agency in Tsukuba, Japan uh, for a couple weeks of training on the Japanese ISS modules, uh, Kibo, the Japanese airlock and the Japanese robotic arm. It's spring, the cherry blossoms are out, uh, we have a fantastic welcome. Our flags are here, the Danish flag, and is that the, the Dutch or the French, French flag? flag? The French flag and the Swiss flag are flying uh. up. I'm with uh, Thomas again. It's nice to see you again. Yes. Yeah. How has been? Have you been in Canada? Long time. Good, no good, see. good. I had a All good right. replacement in David, French yeah. Canadian, almost the same, but much better. <laughs> of course. Okay. Yeah, good vacation. So now oh, you had good we, vacation. We can start again. Okay. Working together. And you got a sign. I got a sign. Congratulations. Mission 2016. It's gonna be awesome. I guess Don't. ESA saved the best for last. Exactly, that's what they did. Don't break the space station before I get there. I can't guarantee anything. Yeah, we'll see. All right, we're in the Japanese Kibo Laboratory. Uh, Toma and I have had training for, uh, for a couple days now. We're with uh, our good friend Suichi-san. You might recognize him from uh, C-Test, where all three of us were participating yeah. last September. Uh, Kibo is a really exciting laboratory. How about telling us a little bit more about it? Yeah, obviously two years ago we are we were in the caves, and last year we were That's together true. in yeah. the Florida seabed, and we brought you, this is a nice place, we have a cherry blossom, and here we are in the Kibo, and uh, this week you have lots of training, all those the science racks, uh, robotic arm, and uh, uh, gem uh, airlock, and uh, you, I'm pretty sure you'll have uh, lots of fun. Okay, and why Kibo is such a good module is that outside of the airlock, it has a whole exposed facility, and a, and a robotic arm that you can use to move payloads around or expose or science exposed to the external atmosphere. So we're lucky to have Soichi san here. Mm -hmm. Soichi, please tell us a little bit more about the gem robotic arm. Okay, obviously Toma, you learned a lot from this week. I got to ask for more, but obviously gem has its own RMS, robotic arm, and we can use this to move the thing around the exposed facility. And how do you control the robotic arm? Good question. Actually, you can see our own training mock-up of GEM RMS. This is exactly what you will see uh, inside Kibo. We have two controllers, DHC, RSC, dedicated uh, monitors, and all those switches. You will learn it on the next week or so. Okay. One of my favorite things about the Kibo laboratory is that it has an airlock, which we can use to transfer payloads from the inside of the space station to the outside. And then once on the outside, we can use a Japanese robotic arm to grab the payload and install it on the exposed facility. Uh, another thing that we often use the airlock for, and which I'll use uh, during my mission, is to um, launch three or four Danish cube satellites. I'll put the cube satellites inside the airlock and then transfer it to the outside and then use a robotic arm to launch them into their orbits. So it should be very exciting. <laughs>